Um, you know, that was, um, it was a tough decision because they were a team that was interested, but not until after the draft. So kind of had to roll the dice and wait a little bit and hopefully, uh, you know, uh, there was a spot available and uh, it worked out. We knew this was going to be a great opportunity and uh, yeah, I'm happy it worked out. Why do you think it's a great opportunity for you here? Uh, playing for, you know, a guy like Josh Allen and then run by a teach, uh, a, a coach led by, um, a team led by Coach McDermott, sorry, um, is an amazing opportunity. McDermott, he's really family centered. Josh Allen, he's a real cool guy. You know, like very serious at times, but also goofy, you know, so that's nice. Like you can lock in, dial in, but then have a laugh with him. So it's really awesome, yeah. How do you feel? How much does, uh, you know, coming from traditional winning programs such as Notre Dame, being drafted by Pittsburgh, winning program, you know, to, you know, reignite that fire coming here to a winning program such as Buffalo? 100%. Uh, we've played Buffalo, I think, like basically every year um, since I've been in the league, and uh, they, always, they always get us, I feel like. So, um, I'm happy to be honestly a part of this team because they do carry that win winning culture and I've experienced it on the other side of the ball. So now I'm really excited to be a part of it. What's your mindset about where you are in your, in your career and the opportunity here? Um, I just think Buffalo is really like a blue collar place to be. Um, you know, when you come to Buffalo, it's all football um, all the time. And I really do like that similar to Pittsburgh and, you know, places like Green Bay where there might not be too much going on, but that's completely fine. You know, that's kind of what we do and what we get paid for. So. Um, Buffalo gives me an opportunity to work as hard as I can um, and make the people around me proud. Chase, what do you think's led to you kind of you know bouncing around a little bit here the last couple of years? Yeah, I just think you know there's changes that happen um, through um, organizations and you know through my journey. You know things have changed and sometimes things work out well for you and sometimes they don't. But you just have to learn how to adjust and make the most out of a situation. Uh, never be too down and uh, just. You know, remind yourself why you do what you do and, and keep working every day. What have you learned you push? and what, maybe what are you doing differently this time around in this spot? I mean, you know, I, there's inefficiencies in everyone's game and you have to be able to realize those. I know my inefficiencies and things that I have to work on and that's what I did a lot this soft season was kind of work on that and, and I started that early. Since I didn't play too much last year, I was able to start my off season a lot earlier um, and kind of get a head start, I felt like. How do you push through, you know, knowing the early splash that you made in the NFL, and now you're talking about, I didn't play much last year. Mm -hmm. How do you push through that, or what gets you motivated to push through that to prove that you're the guy that was that we saw earlier? Yeah, no, you, um, you know, it's it is tough, and like uh, I went from being a starter, playing every play, uh, to going to Miami and really not playing at all. Um, so I almost reignited, not reignited, but like made me realize my love for the game because even though I was doing nothing that I wanted to do, I, you know, or expect to do special teams and stuff like that at the time, um, I realized how much I love football because when I did get the opportunity to be out there, I loved it, even if that was kick return, kickoff. So it's really just making the most out of your situation and loving what you do. Like if I didn't love the game, that'd be easy to just fold. And uh, so I just think since I love the games, it's cool as long as I get an opportunity to be out there. Yeah. Chase, uh, Coach McDermott said today he wasn't speaking for you, but his impression of you was that you are on a mission to reclaim what you once had. Right. Uh, how would you, what, what do you think of that comment and how would you describe what, why you're here? No, I think it's very true. I think um, it is tough um, believing the player that you are or can be and falling short of those expectations, especially over the last two years for sure. Um, it is a tough position because you know I know there's times where it can be frustrating if I'm not living up to my potential but if it's frustrating in the outside world it's even more frustrating for me um, I understand what where I should be and I understand that I haven't met those expectations and that's why I work harder and harder harder and harder every year so I can meet and exceed those expectations there's been a, there's been a lot of turnover in this wide receiver group from last year to this year um, were you aware of that at all, and did that factor into your decision uh, well, in terms of coming here? Yeah, you always have a decent understanding of the uh, wide receiver room, and um, you know, way until after the draft kind of gave you gave us a better understanding. But we saw the opportunity in terms of you know almost like a fresh start for all the guys in the room. So it's not like there's any preferences or favoritism or anything like that. Everyone gets a chance to compete and work, and uh, you know, play itself out in camp. What How good has did you it been like? It's just being here now, and like I know you haven't been here that long, mm -hmm. but like through OTAs, like what has you gathered about this organization? Like being here, being in that one. Yeah. 
This is one of the most family oriented buildings I've been in. Um, and, you know, it's easy for coaches to talk about that, to, but to be about it is a completely different thing. You know, uh, twice a week, two out of the four days that we're here, uh, we have a teammate come up and tell us about his story and where he came from. And it allows you to connect with your teammates on a deeper level um, and allows you to become more comfortable more quickly uh, in this organization. And I think that's awesome because ever since I got here, I felt like family. So it was awesome. How Sean McDermott spoke. You got it, you got it. Thanks. Sean <laughs> spoke about your willingness to participate in special teams. Why is that something you're willing to do on this team? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was back on special teams last year, and I realized how much I loved it, even if it's something maybe I didn't necessarily want to do at the time. Now I do want to do it. Like, I, I love it. I, like, I think uh, from my Notre Dame days, that's carried over. Um, and for me, I'm not a person – I understand my situation. I understand, like, any opportunity I have – to help the team win, that's, I need to jump on that opportunity. So special teams is one of those things. And if I am on all four units, that's amazing because that means I'm helping the team in some way. Chase, how are you different than the guy who came into the league four years ago? What do you learn? What's changed you? What's made you different? Um, you know, I'm, uh, I've learned from all the mistakes. You, you know, I feel like anytime you make a mistake or anytime you have uh, mishaps, you have to learn from them. And if you learn from them, you grow from it. So I think that's what I've done. And um, you know, there's going to be good days and there's going to be bad days, but I think it's important to learn from the bad days and build on the good days and um, eventually, you, you know, be in a spot that you want to be at. How good did you feel uh, making that play on uh, Jamarcus Ingram over there in the corner? Of the um, it's cool. I mean, it's cool, but, you know, one play, it's, um, it, it's nice, but you want to stack those. Um, I think it's OTAs too early for that. Uh, in camp, I'll be more excited. Do you feel like a representation of what you could bring to the table for this team, though? Yeah, 100%. You know, there's, um, I think there's teams that can really know how to utilize big receivers and put them in pos positions to make plays. And I think these are, uh, this is one of the teams. So, um, you know, you saw that a little bit the first two years in Pittsburgh. And uh, I'm kind of seeing it now with how they, how they have me working a little bit. So it's cool. When you're outlining the Bill situation, it's a clean slate here. So how important, and, and you, it sounds like you needed a clean slate. Right. Is that, is that fair to say? Yeah, I mean, um, Personally, um, you know, in the buildings, I don't think um, it's ever been an issue. But uh, in terms of, like, being a fresh start with uh, a new perspective on, on who I am is, is awesome. And I know none of the guys uh, kind of look at what's online because they know some of that is uh, misleading. So uh, I love how they just treat me like family right away. And uh, I, I don't come in with any baggage from the outside world. Right. You, you say you, you don't read the online stuff and all that, but sometimes you're aware of it. Is it hard when you see yourself characterized as being a certain type of person or player yeah. by the outside world? It's frustrating, especially when when it's uh, so far from the truth, I would say. But um, I'm not here to prove that uh, I'm not what they say I am. I'm just here to be who I am and, uh, you know, be a part of the team. And I'm not trying to prove anyone wrong or right. I'm just being who I am and um, I don't it doesn't matter what the outside world says as long as my teammates know the kind of guy I am and the coaches do too.